Hello and welcome to Nostalgia Vibe. Today we will look back at the 1965 American television show, Get Smart. We will revisit the cast of the series and see how they changed over the years. When Don Adams was negotiating his salary, he had his choice between more money per week and no ownership stake in the show, or less money per week and part ownership. Adams chose the ownership deal and never regretted it considering the series' durable popularity in syndication gave him a regular income even as he struggled with being typecast by it. It is rumored that Agent 99 was originally supposed to be named Agent 69, but NBC censors deemed it to be too sexually suggestive. According to Barbara Feldon, this is not true. Her character was originally to be named Agent 100 because she was 100%, but Buck Henry decided 99 sounded more feminine. Don Adams as Maxwell Smart Don Adams died of a lung infection in 2005 at the age of 82. Barbara Feldon as number 99 Edward Platt as Chief Edward Platt committed suicide in 1974, at the age of 58. Robert Carvelas as Larrabee Robert Carvelas died of undisclosed causes, in 1991, at the age of 71. Edward Platt suffered from chronic back pain, which is the reason why he does not appear in a few episodes, and why, in some episodes, is only seen sitting down. When asked how he developed his trademark voice for Agent 86, Don Adams said that it came from watching the Thin Man movies starring William Powell and Myrna Loy. After hearing Powell repeatedly say, Asta. Asta, he decided to imitate his voice for the character of Maxwell Smart. Bernie Koppel as Siegfried David Ketchum as Agent 13 Stacy Keach as Carlson. Stacy Keach died of congestive heart failure in 2003 at the age of 89. Milton Selzer as Parker. Milton Selzer died of pulmonary and stroke complications in 2006 at the age of 88. Control and KAOS were supposed to be acronyms, but Mel Brooks and Buck Henry never came up with anything for them to stand for. Barbara Feldon was two inches taller than Don Adams. In order to make it appear that Adams was taller than Feldon, he would either stand on a small platform or Feldon would stoop down. Also, for most of the show's run, Feldon wore mostly flat shoes and very rarely wore high heels. Victor French as Agent 44 Victor French died of lung cancer in 1989 at the age of 55.
Dick Gautier as Himmy. Dick Gautier died after a long illness in 2017 at the age of 85. Brian O'Burn as Hodgkins. Brian O'Burn died of undisclosed causes in 2009 at the age of 79. William Shallard as Admiral Hargrade. William Shallard died of undisclosed causes in 2016 at the age of 94. Talk show host Johnny Carson makes cameo appearances twice during the show's run. Once as a train conductor, and again as a royal herald in a foreign king's court. In an episode of the final season, where Larrabee has a much bigger role than in previous years, Max says to the chief after a typical Larrabee blunder, people have often asked me if Larrabee and I are related. Robert Carvelas, who played Larrabee, was Don Adams' cousin. Howard Kane as Betty Oskin. Howard Kane died of a heart attack in 1993 at the age of 68. Leonard Strong as the Claw. Leonard Strong died of undisclosed causes in 1980 at the age of 71. Robert Cornthwaite as Windish. Robert Cornthwaite died of natural causes in 2006 at the age of 89. John Myers as Otto Hurrah. John Myers died of pneumonia in 1992 at the age of 70. According to Buck Henry, Talent Associates producer Daniel Melnick came up with the basic idea for the show. Melnick told Mel Brooks and Henry that he wanted a character based on the two most popular film franchises at the time, the James Bond and the Pink Panther film franchises. Mel Brooks felt terrible when he saw the opening titles for the first time and saw that they read, created by Mel Brooks with Buck Henry because it seemed to minimize Henry's contribution. Brooks was not involved with the series beyond the pilot, whereas Henry stayed on as script editor. Sid Haig as Bruce Sid Haig died of respiratory complications in 2019 at the age of 80. King Moody as Starker King Moody died of undisclosed causes in 2001 at the age of 71.